Hello, I'm Jeffrey Hamm, Equity Analyst for Briefing.com. Today is Thursday, January 22nd. Stocks fell as much as 4.3% after opening the session with broad-based weakness, but mustered a rebound that took the stock market to the unchanged mark. The rebound was short-lived, however, as stocks turned in a 1.5% loss. The session's negative bias stemmed from the tech sector, where bellwether Microsoft underscored sector concerns by posting disappointing quarterly earnings and revenue results. Microsoft indicated it will no longer offer an outlook for the balance of this fiscal year. Though that removes a reporting hurdle for management, it limits transparency into the company. Microsoft also announced it will eliminate up to 5,000 jobs. Meanwhile, fellow tech giant and Dow component Intel announced last evening that its restructuring plans will likely affect between 5,000 and 6,000 employees. Apple reported better than expected top and bottom line results for the latest quarter, but issued downside guidance. The company is typically overly cautious in its outlooks, so the stock still traded higher. Apple's performance provided support to the tech sector. However, its strength shouldn't be projected across the industry, given the company's uniqueness stemming from its products like the iPod and the iPhone. With competition in the mobile handset market tight and global economic conditions waning, Nokia fell to a multi-year low after reporting earnings results that missed expectations. The mobile phone giant also gave a pessimistic outlook for industry volume. The Nasdaq Composite Index traded with steeper losses than the other headline indices, despite leadership from Apple. The disproportionate weakness was partly fueled by the presence of regional banks like Fifth Third and Popular Inc. Both banks reported steep losses and had their credit ratings downgraded. Financials overall remain a primary point of weakness. The sector finished 5.8% lower, though it was down 8.5% at its session low. Aflac was the primary laggard in the financial sector this session. It was sent to a multi-year low amid concerns regarding its investments in hybrid securities. Only the healthcare sector finished the session with a gain. Its advance was supported by United Health and Baxter International. United Health reported inline results and offered an inline outlook. Baxter, meanwhile, posted better than expected earnings results for the latest quarter. Glum economic data did little to revive optimism in the broader market. Initial claims and continuing claims both jumped. The level of claims reflects persistently weak labor conditions and suggests another decline for monthly non-farm payrolls. December housing starts were also worse than expected, sinking to their worst level in decades. I'm Jeffrey Hamm for Briefing.com, and thanks for listening.